Let me show you how to use the rule engine from Optimizer to automate some of your bid management. You come to the rule engine and you can create several groups here. You can have up to five groups of rules. I've already constructed some to give you a good example. So my first group here is going to help me find expensive keywords. I've added a couple of rules to this group. I've added two rules. If you wanted to add additional rules, you can say add another rule here, or you can duplicate one of the existing ones by copying it. Now let me show you how I've constructed my current two rules. So here I'm finding uh, keywords where the clicks are greater than two times the number of clicks per conversion. So let me open up exactly what this is. So I'm looking at clicks at the keyword level for the last 60 days. And I'm trying to find a situation where the keyword has had more than two times the expected number of clicks before you should normally expect a conversion. So if you look at the other side of the condition, two times clicks per conversion, notice I'm looking at the campaign level data as opposed to the keyword level data. So that means within this campaign, how many clicks does it usually take to acquire one conversion and multiply that number by two. So if the current keyword has more than that number of clicks, it's going to be eligible to have its bid changed. So let me go back here. And then you can see the other parts of that condition, of course, is that I want the conversions at the campaign level to be greater than zero. That means that we actually have conversion rate within that campaign. And then I have a third condition, and this is for the keyword level conversions. So I only want to do this when the keyword itself has no conversions, because of course, otherwise the keyword could have tons of clicks, um, more than the expected number before a conversion, but it could actually have conversions. So this says only do this for keywords that have no conversions. So if all three of these conditions are met, then I want to decrease my bids for every keyword by 10%. So this is helping me find keywords that have too many clicks and no conversions. Now, the second rule is helping me find keywords that have conversions, but where those conversions are more expensive than expected. And so it's a similar thing that I've done here, where I have cost per conversion both on the left side and the right side of the equation. But here you will notice that cost per conversion, once again, is the keyword level data. And then on the right-hand side of the equation, could have just stayed on that page, but let me go back to it. So here the cost per conversion is at the campaign level. So the cost per conversion for the keyword is more than two times the campaign level cost per conversion. And then if that's the case and the conversions, of course, are greater than zero. So these are the keyword level conversions. If these two conditions are met, it is also an expensive keyword. And we're also going to decrease the bids by 10%. Once I'm done with this rule, I can preview it to see which of my keywords in the account would match. So I can click here to preview suggestions. It's going to generate a table of all of my expensive keywords. And from this page, I can look at the current maximum bid, the new suggested maximum bid, and I can also figure out which keywords are meeting which rule conditions. So I could say, show me just the ones that meet rule number two. So rule number two was the one with too many clicks. So, uh, so then here I can see which ones are matched. And if I want to go and change my rule, I can go back to the previous page. If I'm happy with this, I can do an instant apply. So all of these bit changes would be processed in real time in your AdWords account. And then in a few weeks, we'll be turning on the automate button as well. So then you can install a piece of script so that this automation can run for you as often as once per day. Uh, if you prefer to upload your changes through a bulk format, you can also download those files right here.